cannot cook a kid in its mother's milk. I became a vegetarian spontaneously one day in an island's restaurant after reading a pamphlet from a pen pal about vivisection. It was 1986, back when having a pen pal was a thing. I was 18 years old, and as is the custom of that age, I knew everything there was to know. That was my last chicken sandwich, or anything really, that had a face, unless you count the beef I accidentally ate last year when Chipotle got my order wrong. Thirty years later, animals with sacred faces roam my Van Nuys halls. I wouldn't cook them in anything, let alone their mother's milk. Other creatures, like foreigners, have found their way to my front door, and I, fueled by the memory of being a stranger in Egypt, open my tent to them, lay out plastic bowls of premium food so they will feel whole, so the human family expands beyond its artificial boundaries. Attention politicians, it says in the oldest texts to welcome the stranger, not pretend the lines we have drawn are not abhorrent to nature. Take heed as you appeal for our votes. A human being is a human being, even if they're from New Jersey or places even stranger. My conscience sits on my lap every day. We are the consuming fire. We are 40 days and 40 nights. These are the laws we live by.